No, that is nice, isn't it? 60k each. We made 300k. We made 300k from this in one hour. Athena. So, um, YouTube, in case this goes on YouTube, here's what we're gonna do today. First of all, thanks to Captain Falcor. We have seen uh, his tweet. Basically, he talked about how he stacked all seeing Eye of Souls. Why would you want to stack these? Absolutely no reason. I just want to have a nice screenshot. But there's another reason, which is you can do that if you want to sell all of them during Gold Rush, which is for us here right now is in one hour and 12 minutes. Now, this is I'm sure is unintended, but it's also harmless. It's actually more risky to stack than to sell them immediately. Here's how we're going to try and do it. Get these uh, talismans required at Athena 40 to get the skeleton fleet. So we're going to try as much as we can to get those, these many talismans. Have a very nice screenshot for this video and then sell them on Gold Rush and see how much we get. Special thanks to my Patreons. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Why not Phantom Fleet? Because uh, the reason why I'm not Phantom Fleet, first of all, I don't think I unlocked the Phantom Fleet in my level. Even though I make guides, I'm not a grinder. We only want the Talisman, and uh, the fleet gives you the Talisman too, the, the Ghost Fleet. But it takes longer. We will dive to the Skeleton Fleet. Voyages, Athena's Fortune, Raid Voyages, Skeleton Fleet. Dive. Oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> Next to us. <laughs> what? Next oh, yeah. to us. <laughs> That was like how long? 30 seconds for this one? As soon as you pick up the stuff, guys, let the ship move because uh, the next wave spawning has a cooldown, but at the same time, it's related to ship movement. See, as soon as we drop sails now and remove full speed, the game will assume that you picked up your stuff. I'm level 42. <laughs> Sorry, we're in sails. Oh, we, we have one. Oh. Wow, <laughs> I got launched off the ship. <laughs> well, <laughs> but this should be the final ship, right? Whoa! <laughs> Are you sure you're not? I'm, I'm gonna be. <laughs> yeah, that's when the game decides, honestly. So I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> oh and the game God. says, how about a, a chain shot in the middle of your 10 cannonballs? We'll do cannonball, cannonball, cannonball. Chain shot, cannonball, cannonball, firebomb, <laughs> cannonball, cannonball. Have you got lowers? No. No? Nope. Oh, yeah, now. That last one. Yeah, I was about just, to say, that last one. one was like. Perhaps for the sea floor. And they should be done now. Yep. How much does a chest of legend sell for? This one is more, right? I think we got like 13k for it or something in total, counting the emissary value. Okay, so this one is, is basically more important than the Athena chest. Yeah, uh, yeah. okay. I'm gonna bury it here, yeah? Just to see how that goes, and then we sell the rest. Dagger tooth. Yep, yep. Or science! Chest of legends are 10k, this is 15. So this is basically more important than chest of legends. All right, so it's here, northeast of the campfire. So as far as I've heard is that the map disappears, but the item's still there. It's not intended, but why don't we sell them all during Gold Rush? So you see where it is, Rocket? It's south campfire. Yep. North of it. So when you dive, as you can see, the map disappears. But I've heard, I haven't scientist it myself, that it actually stays there where it should be in the next map. How did that miss? You can hit the ship if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the idea was inspired by Captain Falco. I like credit words do. He did it through a treasury. He put the stuff in a in a coral mermaid in like treasuries and shrines. But that led to this. Nice. This one sunk too. This one's almost done. 
If this works, you're gonna make a video? Yeah, if this works, I'll release the video tomorrow. Ooh. I'm going there. Right cannons! Over, lowers. Wow, he already repaired it. He repaired it? If you want to slap a flare... Make life easier. Uh, yeah. Oh. They have a lot of holes. Just stay in, in position to yep. land the stuff. Nice. Done. So now we see if the science works. <laughs> if this works, we're stacking. Promise Scarlet for Athena is faster than stacking shipwrecks. The reason why I didn't suggest this for for leveling is because uh, I mean we can try this, we can test this. Is another way, because this one is not very solo friendly. Shipwrecks could be solo friendly, right? Especially that if you dive, you can always change servers over and over and over and over again. All right, so we were uh, south of it, right? There should be a campfire. Who's well, here? Did you do it. Here, here. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> here's two. Wait, here's so one. Tiny? Why is it so tiny? No, it's fine, I think. Oh, you, you fixed it, huh? Yeah, we got two! <laughs> let's go, let's bury them. So here's what's happening. This map is disappearing. But the item's still there. It's not despawning. This map is getting stayed behind. Like, right now, if I move this... I don't have a map here anymore, right? So that's what's happening, because this is considered loot. Because if you sink, this floats. So science, so science-wise, this is why it's happening, because the map is disappearing. But is the loot actually supposed to disappear? Technically, it should disappear because that's another server, like another world. You can see if someone, if someone's chasing you, are afraid to sink. Take this and throw it in the water. We're gonna keep stacking until like the last ten minutes of of uh, gold rush, and then we'll sell it all. Done. Nice. All right. Uh, you just chuck it off if you want. I'll just carry on. Oh, sorry. Okay. Then okay. we can, yeah, we can just speed do it. All right. Testing. Here's our thingy. And here's one. And here's the other one. Here's one. Two, three. Done. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Look how gorgeous that is. <laughs> Remember, guys, this method is for fun. If you feel like stacking, selling a gold rush. Remember that, YouTube. This method is for fun, for selling a gold rush. Technically, it's more risky to stack these, right? Unless you want to do it in gold rush or for the fun and the science of it. That's why we're doing it. So keep that in mind, yeah? Or maybe it's like community day and stuff like that. You want to sell as soon as it hits five, you can stack that. That actually works very well for community day, right? You know what I mean? You can keep stacking community day and as soon as we reach level five... Uh, you sell all of them. Ooh, that sounds like a really good thing, right? We will do that on Community Day. All right, guys, YouTube. So there it is. Now we have five. We're going to continue on our break. Now that is nice, isn't it? All right, let's see how this goes now. Holy heck, everyone is giving you how much? 60k each. We made 300k. We made... 300k from this in one hour. Athena. Let's see. A level, and a, a level and a half. Imagine this. Community day. Do it. I stream four times a week on Twitch. See if these and other games. Uh, do this on community day. There's one coming as the time of this video, but there's one every like couple months. Uh, stack them when community day reaches level five. 